we're going to look at some examples where we expand brackets using the distributive law and then simplify by combining like terms. So if we were asked to simplify something like this, what we first need to do is multiply out the brackets and we know we're going to need to use the distributive law here and here in order to do that. So let's go ahead and do it. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times minus 1 is minus 4x. Plus 3 times x is plus 3x. And plus 3 times plus 2 is plus 6. Now we're in a position where we just are adding and subtracting terms. And in algebra, when we're just adding and subtracting, we need to look for like terms. So the like terms here are minus 4x and plus 3x, because those terms just have an x in them. The x squared term doesn't have a like term to go with, because there's no other x squared term. And the number 6 doesn't have a like term to go with, because there's no other plain number. So when we simplify, the 4x squared is going to stay there. Then minus 4x plus 3x is minus x. And then the plus 6 is just going to stay there. Another example like this. If we're asked to simplify this one, again, we're going to use the distributive law to multiply out each of the brackets. But the one thing we're going to be very careful about here is to make careful note of these minus signs. So I suggest putting a big fat red arrow there so that you don't forget the minus signs because it's very easy to slip up with them. So let's then go. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Minus 3 times plus 2 is minus 6. Minus 2 times 5x is minus 10x. And now this next point is the point where people often forget the minus. Minus 2 times minus five, 4 is plus 8. Now we need to look for like terms because we're just adding and subtracting in algebra. So minus 3x and minus 10x are like terms and minus 6 and plus 8 are. So we're going to get minus 3x minus 10x, that's minus 13x, and minus 6 plus 8 is plus 2.